What's up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, I'm going away for work tomorrow and I'm just packing up my makeup and I thought that people may want to see like what makeup I bring with me when I go on a trip, like the bare necessities and like what brands and what kind of stuff I'm bringing. So I thought that I would just go through quickly like what I'm packing to take with me and I also thought this would be a good way to make sure that I have everything. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you find this helpful, interesting, entertaining any of the above. I really appreciate you guys tuning into my channel every week. When this goes up, I will probably be away either in Toronto or Montreal, so lots of traveling coming up and I want to make sure I have all of the right necessities with me. If you guys would like to see what makeup I bring with me on a trip, please keep watching. Okay, so to start, I pack all of my makeup in this like Clinique bag. Um, I got this with a gift with purchase. Actually, I have two of them. And one I got as a gift with purchase, and one, one of the girls from MAC got as a gift with purchase and didn't want, so she gave it to me. So thank you, Brandy, for giving me one of these. I don't remember which one. I think it's this one, actually. So I'm just going to go through, like, in the order that I put my makeup on, what I'm bringing with me, and why I need it on a trip. So first of all, I'm bringing Benefit Professional. Normally, I would be bringing this Temp2 Smooth and Matte Primer. But it's all gone, and um, another one's not coming till next week, so I'm so upset I won't have a primer on this trip. And I have one in my makeup kit, but there's hardly any left, so I was like, ugh, I'll just go without for the week and make sure that I set my foundation really well and hopefully it'll still stay on. Uh, so I'm just going to be using Benefit Professional. I just apply this over my nose and like um, sort of in the, my cheeks beside my nose, anywhere that I really need shine control and pore filling, so I do not leave without this. If I'm going on a trip, this is coming with me always. For foundation, I use the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I mix the shades Fair and Light. Fair, I'm going to have to order another one soon because it's almost gone. But I find that Fair is too light and Light is too dark. I'm just in between. I'm like in between pale. So I always just mix the two. I love these. They have SPF. They work with in any weather that you're in. So if it's like hot, if it's like muggy and rainy in Toronto this week, then which it probably won't be because it's winter, it's probably going to be friggin' freezing. But anyway, it's got SPF so it works in any weather. Um, and I just find that this is like super easy to apply, it's really quick and I like it. It stays on really well throughout the day as well. Then I'm bringing my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I can't live without this. This is the best setting powder I've ever used by far. So I would recommend this to anybody. This is coming with me. I'm placing these in the bag as I describe them to you guys. Uh, I'm also bringing my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have tried and tried to find a new favorite. I don't know why I want to replace it, but you know when you just want something new? I don't know, but I just can't find anything that I like as much as this and that works as well as this. So this is coming with me always. Uh, I always take this with me on trip. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it's a glass bottle, so I'm always scared it's going to break. So what I'm going to do is wipe, wrap it up in a tissue and hopefully it doesn't break. And at the very least, if it does break, then at least the tissue will hopefully stop it from going everywhere. So then for powder foundations, because I'm going to be getting up super early to work out, fingers crossed, uh, on this trip. So I may not have time to do like full liquid foundation. So I'm going to bring my Studio Fix powders. I have the colors C2 and C3. Really, I'm a C2, but there's hardly any left, so I'm bringing C3 just in case. So both of those are going in here. I'm bringing my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, my favorite bronzer I have ever tried. It's good. I don't find this lasts very long. My cheeks is the only thing, so I am kind of in the market for another bronzer. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment down below because I can't think of a good bronzer. I was going to try, apparently the Estee Edit has really, really good bronzers, so I'm going to try those, but they're really expensive, so I just haven't, haven't bought it yet. For blush, I will be bringing this little Tarte blush. This is called Party. This was the birthday gift for Sephora this year, <clears throat> or last year in 2017 actually. So I'm bringing this just because it's tiny and the other blush that I'm bringing is in this Goddess Glam palette right here and as you can see it's quite a bit darker so I just might not be in the mood one day for like a super dramatic blush so this one's quite a bit lighter so I'm bringing that. So both Tarte blushes which is interesting, my new favorite blushes apparently. And so, since I have this out, I might as well go through this. I just use this in a tutorial. I'll link it down below for you guys. This palette is amazing for daytime. And since I'm going for a work trip, I'm not going to be wearing anything too dramatic. 
I am, however, going to bring this other little, man, lots of tart here. Like, I didn't really realize how much I like tart until I'm listing it off to everybody. Anyway, bringing this little Tarlet Tease palette. This is filthy, but I use it all the time. This color is really what I'm bringing it for because I need sort of like a skin toned color, like my skin toned color. Um, but these colors are great too, so I'll probably end up like using both of these palettes together. Another concealer I forgot. I bring this Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. This is what I use to cover acne. I love this. And I've had this for like another Tarte. This is another Tarte product. Oh my god. I love Tarte, I guess. Who knew? Not me. Anyway. Love this, bringing that. Um, just because this is tiny and compact, I'm bringing this Nude Sticks All Over Face Color in the shade Hey Honey. This is like my favorite highlighting product ever for like a natural makeup day. I even probably, like I would wear this on my wedding day because it looks like so natural and it honestly just looks like the nicest glossy sheen on your skin. It looks like a, like a J-Lo glow. Like I love this so much. Um, and it, it's just so nice. The only thing I don't like about this is like, I don't mind that this isn't a stick at all. Um, but like, what am I going to do with this brush down here? Like, I'm not going to wipe this on my face. And like, you can't detach the brush to use on the other side. So I feel like that's kind of a waste. But because I just use my finger to sort of like pat it on. Anyway, I love this. I for, I'll forgive them and I'll buy it again. But I just find that's kind of a waste of money. And it's probably making it more expensive than it has to be. But anyway, that's going in there. Uh, I will be bringing this uh, Eye Bright Liner by Pixie. This is the best nude liner for in your waterline. I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart. I think it was on sale. It said clear out, but I'm thinking like, I really hope that it's not gone forever because I really like it. Anyway, it, they probably might have it still available on their website if Shoppers isn't going to sell it anymore. But yeah, this is a really great eyeliner for the waterline. And I think that they're scheduling us for like some pretty late nights and early mornings while I'm away on this trip because uh, I'm going away for training for my job. So uh, this may be very necessary to make me look a little bit more awake. So that's going with me for sure. I'm bringing this like pathetic tiny little teddy eye pencil just in case I want to use like an eyeliner one day. I hate liquid eyeliner. I'm just over it. I'm not going to bring that with me. Oh, I just realized one thing I forgot. I will be bringing my Painterly Paint Pot with me, my favorite primer for my eyeshadow. If I had forgotten this, because I almost just forgot it, I would have just used my Pro Longwear Concealer. That would have been fine. But I also almost just forgot my eyebrow gel, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Taupe. It would have been a disaster if I forgot this. I would have been like, take me to the nearest Sephora where I can find this, like right now. That would have been brutal. Well, then I will also be bringing my Brow Gel uh, MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in Emphatically Blonde. Need that. Love it. It's amazing. My mascaras, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir and MAC... Extended Play Giga Black, love that. For tools, I'm not gonna go through my brushes just because then this video will be so, so, so long, but I am just gonna show you what I bring my brushes in. So I ordered a brush set from Mikasa Beauty. Um, I'll link the website down below. And it came in this amazing travel brush set that I always, I always bring this case with me when I travel because you basically just put it together and it snaps on the sides here. Oh, if it will work yep so it's super durable and super like awesome for your brushes it's a little bit heavy so sometimes I'll bring my brushes in my carry-on like I won't be doing that tomorrow but just because it's a direct flight so knock on wood I really hope our luggage doesn't get lost but I'm not gonna do that just because it's super heavy to like be carrying around in like a big purse that I probably already have loaded with other stuff um, so that's the only thing with this but like a hard case is gonna be heavy so I don't really know what I would expect to be different about it if uh, to lighten it up but anyway I think this is so awesome and then whenever I am traveling I can just pop this off and then they're kind of like neatly held you know plus it's super easy to clean you just take like an antibiotic like a pure all wipe or whatever and just wipe it clean and it's super awesome so I love that and then last I will also be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge this is what I used to put my concealer on with and I don't know if I will ever go back to a brush like maybe um, but for now, I'm just super content with this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, so I'll be taking that with me. I don't know if it's going to close, guys, and I really don't want to break it. You know what? Maybe I'll just take one of these powders out and put it in my bag there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, got it. So I took one of my Studio Fix powders out and just put it in my little bag that I put in my purse to put my makeup in, in my purse. And I'll just show you guys what lipsticks I'm going to take with me. Um, 
This is pretty much like almost a repeat of favorite daytime lipsticks. Um, but that's fine because this is like legitimately what I'm bringing. I'm bringing my Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the color Hush Hush. I'm bringing Spice Lip Pencil by MAC. I'm bringing Half Red Lip Pencil by MAC, which I don't think was in my um, video. And I'm also bringing Soar by MAC. So I have a few different shades, a few different tones, just in case, you know, we go out for dinner or something and I feel like wearing something dramatic. So the lipsticks that I'm going to be taking with me, I'm taking Ubuntu by Exo Beauty, my favorite lipstick ever right now. And I'm taking Mocha, the next four are MAC lipsticks. I'm taking Mocha, Mare, Kinda Sexy, and Velvet Teddy. So pretty much like mostly nudes, but like you could take a few extra lipsticks and it's not a big deal because lipsticks don't take up a lot of room. I'm also taking Cannot Leave Without Blot Powder by MAC. This is like, this. if you get oily skin, this product is just like... It's a holy grail. I'll never not use this. Um, it's unreal. You just kind of like blot the oil right off of your nose or wherever you get oily and it's just like unreal. And I'll bring a sharpener and I think that's it. Oh, and my uh, eyelash curler I'll just put in this bag because it wouldn't fit in the other one. Um, so yeah, so I'm all packed. So here is what I'm taking for makeup. That's actually very impressive considering how much makeup I would love to bring with me. I could probably just like film my whole Zuka to bring with me on a trip of all the things that I'd like to bring just to have options. But these are all of the things that I absolutely will use every day and can't live without. Like I don't think that I would go on a trip without these items. I can just throw this in my suitcase and it will be fine. Um, the bag is thick enough that I'm not worried about anything breaking and I usually surround it with clothes so that, you know, powders don't get shattered or glass bottles don't get shattered or anything like that. So I usually put it like right in the middle of my suitcase. Um, and then this of course will come with me in my purse and this will just toss in wherever because it's totally fine. So that is everything. That's everything I'm bringing with me on this trip. And when I get back from Toronto in a few days, I'm going right to Montreal. So I'll probably just leave this packed up and sort of just work out of this bag even though for the one day that I'm home. So yeah, so I'm super excited for these trips. I'll be posting some pictures of the looks that I create with this palette since I'll still continue to post on Instagram. So I'll link that down below if you guys would like to follow me there. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much again for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.